I usually think of LDL cholesterol, the, the larger buoyant LDL cholesterol, as you know something that's important for cells that need to repair damage, to repair their cell membranes, growing cells. Right. What causes the f formation of these smaller dense right. LDL particles? Well, it is true. We, we, we think about um, you know LDL as if it's bad um, and cholesterol um, is bad. It's, you know, it gets into the arteries. But of course, cholesterol itself is vital for every aspect of human biology, um, uh, ranging from cell membrane function, as you point out, proliferation of cells, growth, and the health of cells um, are dependent on cholesterol. And most uh, tissues, uh, in fact, really virtually all tissues in the human body under normal conditions are capable of manufacturing their own cholesterol. That's really an important system, which relates to some of the other work we are doing when we start to manipulate cholesterol metabolism with the use of drugs like statins and also with diet. Um, but the fundamental role of cholesterol is, a, is, a, is one to, that promotes health. Um, where we get into trouble is when it uh, exceeds the ability of cells to take uh, cholesterol out of the blood, particularly from the lip, uh, through the liver, uh, and it builds up in the blood and, there, and gets into the arteries is where it becomes pathogenic. Logic. Well, where do these particles come from? Uh, that is something that we're very interested in. Um, uh, the uh, origin of LDL particles is in the liver. Uh, the liver packages uh, lipids, uh, cholesterol, but as well as other lipids, triglycerides uh, and phospholipids, uh, into this um, spherical uh, particle. Uh, that also has proteins, and so it's a combination of lipids and proteins, and that's how we get the term lipoproteins, li lipids and proteins complex together. Uh, for the most part, in the form of uh, triglyceride-rich, not cholesterol-rich particles, there are uh, ways of unloading triglyceride from the liver. Triglyceride is a fat that's used also uh, for many positive uh, features of our life, such as um, energy uh, storage and metabolism, uh, and in packaging these uh, triglyceride-rich uh, uh, particles, uh, there's some cholesterol that comes along with it, and there are specific proteins that characterize these particles as well. Um, there's different forms of these, um, of these uh, triglyceride-rich particles. They're called very low-density lipoproteins, or VLDL, um, and uh, uh, the different forms of VLDL give rise to different forms of LDL. That's one of the reasons that um, we have these different forms of LDL is that they can originate from different precursors produced by the liver. Um, so cholesterol, in a sense, is a, a passenger on a, on a train that is mainly delivering triglyceride, but that triglyceride gets used by the body, it gets hydrolyzed, it gets broken down into fatty acids, which are used for energy and for energy storage and uh, muscle and, and adipose tissue, um, uh, very important metabolic players. Um, and as that uh, process occurs uh, uh, through a lipase uh, that breaks down the triglyceride, um, the particles get smaller and smaller. They lose their triglyceride, but they tend to retain most of their cholesterol. So there is a shrinkage from what is a big, uh, big buoyant, triglyceride-rich VLDL particle um, to a smaller, more dense LDL particle. And to the extent that that process can continue to occur during the, the um, uh, uh, excursion of lipoproteins in the blood, uh, they can get smaller and smaller. And that's how you finally, finally went up with the small LDL uh, particles that we've been talking about. Um, so, uh, so the role of cholesterol in these particles uh, uh, is not a crucial feature of their uh, biological role. Uh, as I say, most tissues can, in fact, all tissues, as I said, can make cholesterol. Um, tissues don't make triglycerides. So, so the triglyceride transport is a main feature, and most people don't understand that. Um, and the LDL is kind of a byproduct of that uh, met metabolic conversion that we uh, that I just described. Um, and um, LDL are used by tissues. Uh, uh, the adrenal gland uses LDL cholesterol. The gonads use cholesterol uh, to synthesize, for example, hormones that are made by those tissues. So LDL does have a role, uh, and the cholesterol does have a biological role, but it's not a crucial one. Um, and so that's uh, one of the issues that we have as humans versus almost all other species. Uh, we don't have uh, a very efficient way of removing LDL from the blood. Um, 
Uh, so our levels are much higher than almost any other species, um, uh, certainly most uh, most other mammals. You have to feed an enormous amount of cholesterol in order to get anything like what we have in our blood. Um, so it's this inefficient removal of LDL that leads to the potential f uh, for accumulation in the blood and ultimately the arteries. And it's really the fundamental reason that we as a species are so susceptible to heart disease risk.